Okay guys, so we are here at the Norwalk District um, and you guys are looking good. Two in a row, there are two out of three there I had, was it Sandurfer and who was the other guy there? Androsik? Sandurfer and Androsik, yeah. Okay, he looked pretty good. They're doing all right. They both, okay. All three qualified. Okay, so all three are qualified. Um, this is a huge district, over 400 kids um, and one of the tougher ones. So why, when you guys choose them, how do you, how do you pick them for, for West Shore? Whoever's closest. This is the closest one to us today and next week we'll be at Brexville. So I'll be at both of those too. Yeah. And um, uh, when I look at it, those are probably two of the tougher ones, uh, Northern Ohio ones, Northeast Ohio, the, the center of high school wrestling at least. We're Northeast um, Ohio wrestlers. And there you go, right? So when you look at it though, and you got guys come out and perform like those guys did in those last two, what do you get out of that for the guys? Uh, I mean, it's great. The little Sandiford, sixth grade, so good to see him in the district finals at the sixth grade. Um, the older Sandiford, just, he just put it together and coming around really nice. And then Patrick's, like a man among the boys up there sometimes. It looked pretty impressive to me. Yeah, he's right? I thought he had a pin on a cradle. And he's a seventh grader too, so he'll be back next year. And most of these guys are going to be St. Ed's guys. It's not like confirmed, but most of them no, go to no, St. Ed's. Those, those three absolutely will be. Okay. So looking at it, I, we always talk about this balance in the coaching with, you know, you got to be a dad, you got two younger kids, you got two older kids, okay? And then you got the coaching, and then you've got the business. How do you keep the balance in line there? That is my balance. That's what my life is, being a good dad, hopefully a good dad. Um, you know, running a business and being a coach, it just all goes together really good. You know, talking about partnerships, you, you, let, you partner with wrestlers a lot, yeah. right? Wrestling people, you know, they, they kind of know what's going on in the wrestling community. How small of a community is the wrestling community? Yeah, I always say we're all one phone call away from each other. If I don't know somebody, somebody in my office between Gus or Charlie or somebody knows them, or they know somebody who knows them, and we can get to anybody. Okay, new product. Oh, actually, new new packaging. New packaging. I'm super stoked about it. You know what really got me was the commercial. You released that commercial. It's incredible. The commercial is like, I don't know, just the only thing I don't like about the commercial is it wasn't me doing all the hiking and, and modeling of the of the product. But, you know, you look at that investing. You're constantly your heavy reinvestment company. Everything goes back into the company, whether it's product, whether it's advertising. How important is that to kind of keep moving forward? Cutting down on waste, cutting down on you know energy and resources. What, what's what's that taken? What do you got to do there? It was that's just a project that we did. Um, it was really interesting. Is we really kind of um, got under Procter and Procter and Gamble skin with that. Old Spice has come out with the same packaging, but we beat them to the punch. So that was just like uh, I mean we're, we're excited about the, you know the saving saving the the plastic and and, and the whole message there was really cool. But we just wanted to show Procter and Gamble that we could beat them to the punch or something, and we did. So that was uh, that was the most exciting part about that project. Is that one going to go on the Big Ten Network? That will be on Big Ten Network. We just have to get more inventory of it. Um, you'll see Old Spice body washing that in the next couple of weeks. You got me fired up. <laughs> I love it when you beat someone like that as a punch. Um, on Amazon, you guys are predominantly top 10, usually with two lines, whether it's bars and body wash. You know, and this is like something that just doesn't stop. You got to keep a well oiled machine. My visits don't help because it doesn't seem like the guys get much done when I'm there. So I want to keep those visits shorter when I come. But like, what do you got to do to to catch those guys? What do you got to do to catch Dial and Old uh, Spice and what's it take? Old Spice spills more soap in a weekend than we sell in a year. So I'm not too worried. <laughs> I'm not going to catch them anytime. But you're trying soon. to catch them, though. Yeah, we're trying to catch them. But I mean, they're massive. We, I mean, we do good on Amazon. That's our market. We had 60% growth on Amazon in 2018. So, I mean, it's just adjustment, you know, that type of growth requires a lot of um, logistical reasoning and engineering, and, and that's what we're working on right now, being more effective. Everywhere I go, you're in a bag with me. You're either, you meet me there, the product meets me there, or it's in a bag with me. Um, why Why is it so important for you to support what we're doing? I mean, I, I support what we're doing because, again, wrestling is giving me everything that I have. I know a lot of people say that. It sounds cliche-ish, but, I mean, I'm a true example Oh, you know, wrestling gives me everything. So I always will get back. That's just the way I are. OHSA duels was not going to be anywhere. We, we fixed the problem, right? Yeah. We're, we're going down there. We're going to get all three finals. Um, how important is promotion of the sport? You know, obviously you support us so that we can have it financially. But what is OHSA thinking blacking out an event like that? I don't know. There are smarter people than me in charge of that. I don't know what their decision behind that was. But... We took care of that problem, so now people could watch those matches, so that'll be cool. All right, how many guys left in the afternoon for you? I think I only have two in the afternoon. Is that it? Yeah. We'll be, I have a team in um, 
Pittsburgh today. Charlie's with the team over in Pittsburgh. Charlie's in Pittsburgh. So he'll come back with those sixth graders and all those guys will try to qualify next week. So. Oh my, are you serious? Yeah, we got You guys it. are somewhere every week. And I was making a joke to people. You guys weren't at Jackson. And I was like, oh, they're slacking. Where, guy and Charlie aren't here. They must be slacking. That's not your nature, though. You guys are always somewhere. And it's, it's we were like, somewhere last week. You guys don't, can't remember where we were. Jackson was like two or three weeks ago. But it was, no. I couldn't believe you guys weren't there. You were maybe in like North Allegheny or something. It was, it was kind of crazy. But all right, you got coaching to do. You got anything else for me? Nope. Great job as usual, Zeb. And drive safe to Columbus. <laughs> Snow coming. Okay. Snow coming. So, hey, guy, keep defending what you built. I got you in the chair with Max doing a little bit of coaching up there. And, hey, thanks for the time. Thanks for the support. Awesome. Thanks.